Oh, we're live. Hello, everybody. Welcome to this Google Live Hangout with about the 12 steps uh, to Fungi Espresso from Italy. Um, my name is Jeff. And in this next hour, I'm going to give you some little introductions to everybody, to Fungi Espresso, to Alessandra, to myself, uh, to the 12 steps, Amy's Farm Lab, you know, Amy's Farm Lab here. Then we will get an exclusive tour and presentation of Fungi Espresso uh, live from Italy. And afterwards, we can all ask some Q and A. So we have some questions. Everybody can ask questions. Ask questions in the YouTube video comments. Uh, Alessandra and me will check them out. So let's start. What is Amy's Farm Lab? You know, Amy's Farm Lab is a collective of people, organizations around the world who think we need to share a lot of data and practice and experience um, around uh, vertical farming and urban farming because we want to create ecosystems, but like real big ecosystems. Ecosystems are super complex. Uh, and to actually do that, we need a lot of data. Uh, Amy is also an important thing to know. Amy stands for aquaponics, mushrooms, and insects, like all everything that is in nature and not even everything, but it's easy to understand. And Amy's Farm Lab is uh, divided in two branches. First branch is the knowledge, knowledge and uh, experience exchange, which is the 12 steps to farming. You know, how do you build a business? How do you or build an organization that produces food in the ecosystem way? It's not easy, not easy at all. You can check a lot of the videos on the 12 steps website. And uh, the other one of Amy's Farm Lab is the data exchange, uh, which we have a lot of experienced people working on. Uh, but soon you'll know more, maybe probably in the next Google Hangout with Plan Geek from Romania. Um, but more on that later. First, I want to introduce to you Alessandra, Alessandra Varrotto from Italy, too. Uh, she is very passionate about food and innovation and moreover because she wants to use this as a way to uh, find solutions for a food system problem. First awareness, but then also finding solutions. Uh, she does that via uh, the Barilla Center for Food and Nutrition, uh, where she does PR and communication for EU-funded live projects. Very awesome. Next, she is also uh, an editor for how it's called, eHabitat.it. It's an Italian website where she writes about sustainability with a lot of people. But most importantly, she's also part of the 12 Steps teams, right? And Amy's Farm Lab. So, Alessandra, how are you doing? Wait, wait, wait. I think you are oh, still on mute here. I cannot hear you at the moment. Wait, wait, wait. How do I? Wait, wait, wait. Okay. Oh, there you are. There you are. Yes. So thank you, Jeff, and welcome to everybody. First of all, uh, let me introduce our super Jeff, who's an uh, applied bioengineer from Ghent, Belgium who has been on a vertical farming quest since 2012. He combines his passion for vertical farming with the passion for international collaboration and co-creation to help transform our society into a healthy ecosystem. He is part of Padden's tool, a startup mushroom farm collective in Belgium, Part of Gruchinest, a ancient non-profit that makes local, uh, local and sustainable food accessible for everyone, and of course he is part of the Amy's Farm Lab and the Twelve Steps to Farming. And today we are live from the beautiful city of Florence, Italy, with Antonio Di Giovanni. And thank you, Antonio, for being here with us today. And uh, Antonio is an agronomist and uh, the founder of Fungi Espresso, a soilless urban farm where healthy and nutritious food is produced from organic waste, namely coffee grounds, according to the principles of the blue economy. 
And the motto of the espresso is uh, in our circular process, there's no waste, but only resources. Indeed, after growing oyster mushrooms, as the name from the espresso suggests, the exhausted substrate of oyster mushrooms is uh, used by Antonio and his wonderful team to grow more food and to produce new resources, such as warm humus, earthworms, fishes, herbs, and vegetables. But I do not want to anticipate too many things. So, Antonio, are you ready to guide us to discover fungi espresso? fishes, herbs, and vegetables. But I do not want to anticipate too many things. So, Antonio, are you ready? Antonio, are you ready to guide us to discover fungi espresso? fishes, herbs, and vegetables. But I do not want to anticipate too many things. So, Antonio, are you ready? Antonio, are you ready to guide us to discover the presto? Antonio, you have to uh, put on your microphone of your, uh, your phone. I do not want to anticipate too many things. So, Antonio, are you ready? Antonio, are you ready to guide us to discover the presto? You're going to have to. And Alessandra, can you mute the YouTube streaming? Yes. Yeah. We can hear it in the we can hear it in the loop. Uh, you know, this is the first hangout. We're still finding out how it works. All this, all of this, but it's gonna be fun. All right, Antonio, uh, you ready? Can you can you unmute your video and start start the presentation and the tour? The, the sound is not on yet. <laughs> well, how do, can I unmute you? No. Antonio, you have to unmute yourself on your phone. Is that possible? <laughs> you know, guys, this is uh, first time happens. This, this things happen, but we're, uh, very enthusiastic. We already got, Alessandra and me already got a mini tour of uh, Antonio's farm. It's pretty impressive and uh, it's pretty cool what they're doing, all the things they're doing, not only mushroom farming, but uh, also aquaponics. So oh, that's already a sneak peek in what's coming for you. Um, but next to that, we're, we're planning on doing many of these hangouts. You know, every month we want to we wanna do a hangout, a tour, a presentation of uh, a cool Amy farmer around the world. Like next next uh, next month, we're gonna do uh, the plan gig guys in Romania. They're actually in the basement of university, doing lots of research on uh, sensors and data collection for uh, aquaponics, uh, and that is gonna be an interesting one. I can also already give you the date on that too. It's gonna be on a Tuesday, like today, and I'm checking my phone now. It should be the 11th of December. Yeah, that's Tuesday, 11th of December. Put that one in your agenda. And the moment uh, Antonio's ready, we're going to have our first tour. But before that, you know, um, I can tell you a story about Amy's farm lab, maybe, you know. Uh, aha, Antonio's back. There is he. Okay, you can hear me. Yes. Uh, yeah. Okay, we can perfect. hear you perfectly. So, awesome. Okay. So, hello, guys. Oh, sorry, uh, but uh, we have some problem with the telephone. Uh, and you welcome uh, in uh, our urban farm in Florence. And uh, I'm, I'm, today I try to show uh, you how it is possible uh, to transform the waste, like a coffee grounds, in a resource for grow very healthy and uh, very good uh, food as a mushroom. And uh, um, nothing, we start uh, uh, every day, uh, we go in, a, we have a 10 bar in near uh, this area um, and we collect coffee grounds uh, uh, about uh, um, 60, 70 uh, kilograms uh, per day uh, with this cargo bike. Okay, uh, in a very sustainable, sustainable way. 
and uh, we give uh, one uh, one container like this. Okay, this is a thirty liters of uh, of, uh, of container, and uh, can we collect uh, twenty kilos of uh, coffee grounds uh, each time? Uh, each bar produce uh, every day about uh, uh, four or five kilos of uh, coffee grounds, and uh, this is a. Uh, 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 in the past, uh, uh, in this bar, uh, they throw away, uh, maybe in organic waste or in uh, uh, other in different in, in different ways. So it's uh, was a resource that uh, was uh, become become waste. So it's a problem. And uh, with the fungi espresso, oh, oh, we collect these coffee grounds for make. Uh, a very uh, good product. So uh, I show you now uh, our urban farm. It's uh, in a very old place. It's uh, um, this one was a horse stable. So uh, was built uh, 200 years ago, uh, and it's perfect for grow mushroom. Okay, please follow me. <clears throat> Looking cool. Looking very cool. Welcome, guys. So it's a uh, it's a beautiful place. Uh, in uh, this place, uh, we uh, was abandoned, was like a storage, okay. And now uh, we, we uh, convert this space for grow mushroom, okay. Um, I show you the two books uh, for uh, that I read for uh, find the inspiration for uh, start the, this project, okay. The, uh, the first book is, uh, uh, this is Zero Waste uh, Movement in Italy. This man is Rosanne Colini, it's my mentor. And with him, uh, I start uh, the project uh, four years ago in Capannori, Luca. Uh, and uh, and uh, I found the possibility to convert the coffee grounds in a, in a, a in a mushroom, uh, and when I, I read this book with the, oh, Gunther Pauli, The Blue Economy uh, 2.0, uh, uh, and uh, I found the project that they call it, the name is uh, um, From Pulp to Protein. And, and I read that uh, a, Jap a Chinese uh, pro uh, teacher, uh, Shooting Chang, uh, uh, he uh, grow the shiitake in uh, coffee grounds. Uh, to uh, 20 years ago. So uh, I, I I read this book and I found the, my uh, the, my way and I did a lot of uh, uh, work for uh, arrive uh, in this kind of situation like like us. Okay, uh, uh, I show you uh, which uh, ingredients we use for. Uh, grow the the mushrooms, okay? So, uh, you can please come here, Giovanni. Okay, uh, every day uh, we collect the coffee grounds. So, uh, in, in the coffee grounds, we have uh, uh, a lot of mineral, we have a lot of polyphenol, and uh, the mushroom use this compound for grow, and uh, it's a... Uh, uh, it's perfect because the humidity of the coffee grounds is perfect um, because the and it's uh, the it's a waste uh, the very important thing is it's pasteurized because the when the, the barman make a coffee uh, there is uh, the, the water uh, go uh, the hot water go in a coffee and uh, pasteurize the coffee grounds so we use the coffee grounds uh, uh, in the without uh, without the pasteurizer, okay, this is very important thing. And we use another another bioproduct. The name is uh, Silver Skin, the skin of the coffee. Okay, um, it's uh, when the, the the roasted company uh, roasted the green beans and become uh, black like this roasted bean. Okay, the the green bean leave the uh, the, the skin. And this skin is perfect for mixed with the uh, uh, with the coffee grounds, okay. But the mushroom <laughs> don't grow alone, okay. We need uh, uh, mycelium, 
Uh, this is one. It's uh, the it's uh, mycelium of oyster mushroom, and we use this mycelium. Uh, you can see the some uh, very small seed. It's a seed of uh, cereal. It's a millet. Okay. Uh, so uh, depends. If we want to grow different species of mushroom. We need a different kind of mycelium, and um, of, of course, uh, we uh, we grow uh, three different uh, pleurotus. The the first one, the grey one, is pleurotus austriatus. The second one is the pleurotus cornucopia, the yellow pleurotus, and the, the third one is uh, the pleurotus diamor, pleurotus uh, uh, pink. Okay, uh, so it depends which kind of um, which kind of uh, 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 mushroom we want to grow. Usually, uh, normally, uh, the mushroom that grow in a forest on, uh, on wood is possible to grow in a coffee grounds, okay? Porcini, we cannot grow porcini, okay? <laughs> because a lot of people ask us if possible to grow porcini. No, it's not possible to grow porcini, okay? And uh, so um, we mix this ingredient, so mycelium, coffee grounds, and silver skin together, and uh, we mix uh, in a in a hole together, uh, and we put in a bag, okay, like this. This one is uh, the, the small bags for a uh, for a kit for uh, home uh, home production, and we have the the very big bags that uh, I show you later uh, for grow mushroom uh, here in our farm, okay. Uh, you can see the mushroom now. Uh, it's uh, you cannot see the mushroom, okay. It's uh, all it's black. Uh, but uh, uh, we put these bags for in uh, in a dark room for uh, 25 days, and after 25 days we have uh, the situation like this. Okay, you can see the mycelium, the white part that we call mold. Okay, but it's the real mushroom. This part, uh, uh, this very is the roots of the mushroom. Okay, uh, when uh, uh, the mycelium is completely colonized of uh, of a mushroom. It's ready for for grow, and uh, we have just to cut it and the spray water. And after one week, the mushroom start to come out. Okay, I show you uh, the kit for home production. Okay, this one, this is uh, this one is the uh, yellow. Uh, it's uh, the Pleurotus cornucopiae. Uh, it's uh, the yellow ple Pleurotus. Uh, have a very it's not a nice smell. Uh, you can uh, not uh, uh, not uh, the smell, but it's very uh, uh, good smell. And this one is a very small pleurotus ostriatus that coming out in uh, uh, from our kids. Okay. And uh, but this one it's just uh, a kit for the home production. Okay. Uh, we make the uh, we have a big production, okay. So we need the, the some machine for mix and for clean the coffee grounds. If you follow me, uh, I can show you some machine for. Uh, <coughs> well, this one it's uh, the inoculation room. Uh, the inoculation room it's the room uh, where we clean the coffee grounds and we uh, mix uh, with the silver skin and with the mycelium. Uh, the first thing is a very important thing is uh, we, we need to clean coffee grounds with a machine like this, okay? When the coffee grounds is clean, it, okay? It's uh, okay. It's like this. It's uh, uh, we put in uh, this machine for its mixer, okay? Uh, with a with a silver skin and with a uh, uh, mycelium, okay? And we mix uh, together. Uh, after this, we put in a <coughs> in a bag like this. Okay, this one is a uh, uh, bag that we, we can put uh, the seven kilos of uh, substrate. Okay. Uh, after this, uh, we take the, these bags and we put the bags in a dark uh, room. So, if you follow me, I can show you the, the incubation room and the fructification room, and we can harvest some mushroom together, okay? Oh. 
Okay. So this one is the incubation uh, incubation room uh, where the, the bags uh, it's uh, it's uh, completely uh, it's completely dark now and uh, it's, uh, it's it's feeling like a little bit warmer. Okay, because it started the aerobic fermentation inside. So uh, we need the temperature about uh, uh, 15, 20 degrees. It's enough here. We, here, we don't need to control the aeration, so the CO2 level, okay? Uh, and uh, uh, in this uh, uh, phase, uh, we need just uh, uh, to control the temperature, okay? And uh, we don't need humidity, okay? Uh, after 25 days, so this, this bag was made uh, three days ago, uh, and the mushrooms start to start to grow a little bit, you can see that, maybe you cannot see, but <laughs> you can see here the very small part that the mushroom start, okay? After 25 days, we uh, cut the, the plastic bed when it's completely white, okay? Um, Sometimes happen that we, we can have some contamination, okay? Uh, and uh, we can see the contamination when it's the, there is the the green part in uh, in, a, in the mycelium, okay? Uh, when it's a little bit green, that, that means that uh, there is a, a, a small contamination. If the contamination become bigger, okay, we need to throw away all the bags, okay? Um, but uh, I want to show you uh, the beautiful fructification room that we are now, um, and uh, please, you can turn on the camera and, <laughs> okay. Uh, this one, it's a, it's a fructification room. It's a, it's a beautiful to see, and uh, you have to uh, the smell. It's uh, it's awesome. It's very, it's very, very good smell. And uh, we have the Pleurotus ostreatus, okay, like this. It's beautiful, okay. And we have uh, the Pleurotus cornucopia, okay, like this. It's beautiful, the, man. Do, do they also yeah, smell like the coffee? Yellow one, yeah, the yellow one is beautiful, yeah. And uh, now uh, I, I show you how um, uh, it's very easy to harvest uh, the, the mushroom. It's uh, we just, just turn on and the mushroom, okay. And uh, after uh, it's very fast, they grow very fast. Uh, normally, uh, they make uh, in a, in seven day maximum ten days they uh, are ready uh, for harvest. Okay, so we can put here. Maybe we, we can harvest also another bags, maybe like this. Okay, this one. Okay, this. You can find the coffee grounds. Okay, here in this part. Okay, and but. Uh, and this one, it's, uh, it's the Pleurotus ostreatus. Uh, um, I, I continue to harvest some mushroom, okay? Because now it, they are ready. Uh, you, we, we can see the difference in the beginning. Uh, uh, in this, yeah, you can see the mushroom, uh, it's uh, uh, very, it's gray and start to grow. Uh, when it's uh, uh, ready, uh, the mushroom, it's like this. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a white, okay, and it's uh, uh, and it's ready for, for harvest, okay. <laughs> they are beautiful, <laughs> and uh, uh, the smell, it's uh, it's incredible. And this, uh, I can show you. The, I cannot. <laughs> Yeah, it's this mushroom. Uh, have, uh, it's like this. Okay, so it's like a steak when you make it in your pan, and you cook in the oven. Uh, it's uh, it's like a cotoletta la milanese. <laughs> it's uh, it's a beautiful. Uh, it's very 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 good. So maybe we can harvest some mushroom and. Uh, but uh, so just uh, about uh, proportion, okay? 
Uh, one bag like this, it's uh, seven kilos, maybe eight kilos of uh, substrate, okay? And we can, uh, we can uh, harvest about 1.2 kilos, 1.3 depends, uh, uh, kilos of, uh, of mushrooms, okay? So, uh, uh, but we have the, the first production uh, after seven days, okay? And we have the second production after the, the 50 days, okay? So in, maybe in 30 days, we have uh, two production, okay? Uh, and uh, if you, we want, we can wait another 50 days for the, the, the third production, okay? But normally, the last production is uh, very small, so we take the, the bags and we throw away in the compost area, okay? Uh, so, just if you want to see, uh, so this is this one. It's uh, now we have about uh, uh, in the fructification in this room uh, we have about uh, uh, fifty bags. Okay, that, that now it starts production, and we have uh, uh, one hundred twenty bags in incubation. Okay, uh, so when the bags, uh, uh, this is a continuous continuous cycle. Okay. So when we start a, a bags, so we open a bags uh, uh, after uh, from seven days we have uh, the first harvest, and after thirty days we just we throw away some bags and we put the new bags from the incubation room in a fructification room. So in order to to have uh, uh, the continued production. Uh, now, uh, in one month, we can produce about uh, 120 kilos, uh, 150 kilos of mushroom, of fresh mushroom, okay? And uh, uh, this uh, production we sell directly in a, in a shop that we have inside the school here in Florence, because we are inside the school. And uh, uh, another part of uh, the the, the mushroom we sell directly at the restaurant and uh, some customers that come here and buy directly in our farm. So, uh, but in, in this year we, we need, uh, we, need uh, uh, we start the, the transformation of our product and I show you now the, the new product that we, we make with the chef, vegan chef Marco Vita. But I want to give you Antonio. some information. Antonio, can I already ask you a question, small one here? It's like uh, you have the incubation and fructification in one room, all of it in one room. What do you do when you have like a green mold or a, another pest like flies or something? How do you deal with that? Okay, uh, so now oh, so we, have a, we don't have a just separation, okay? Because just for a video, okay. But uh, uh, normally we have a separation, incubation, and fructification. So the the two different room uh, it's uh, it's in a two different uh, uh, area, okay. Uh, and uh, we have a in the so in now we don't have a lot of problem with uh, uh, with the CO two control, okay. Uh, but because we have an aeration, aeration plant, okay, for the fructification room is this one is the aeration plant that take the high, the fresh air outside and put inside, okay, and then we have humidifier for uh, for, uh, for uh, make humidity, okay. Maybe I can start for just to see how oh, it's a wall and. Uh, uh, This is a is a humidifier there, and uh, it's a very important things in uh, in this uh, in this uh, cell uh, cellar. Uh, it's very important uh, uh, the CO2 level, okay? Because uh, some sometime I uh, we have uh, some problem with the CO2 level, okay, and. Uh, when the CO2 go up, the mushroom will grow in a very, very strange, with, uh, uh, like a weird mushroom, okay? Uh, and uh, it's not possible to sell, okay? Um, so when the mushroom grow uh, like this, okay? So it very, it's very good uh, size. 
uh, it's uh, it's that's mean that the CO two level is perfect. But we have um, an, um, an uh, a controller. Okay, this one is a controller for CO two, for humidity, for temperature, and uh, uh, it's very important. So uh, now it's a little bit higher. It's uh, because the the very the good level it's under than. Uh, 1000 ppm of CO2 in a, in a, in a cell. Okay, so uh, because we switch off the the aeration system because uh, it's very there is a lot of sound. Okay, uh, maybe we can turn on <laughs> and we can move. Uh, we can move in uh, in an, in the other room. Okay, we, I can I can show you. I can show you the, the other room that we made, we built now. This one is for uh, implementation of our project. Well, that means that uh, uh, we can, uh, we want to start uh, uh, collect more coffee grounds and we want to, uh, and we have a, a more space here for put our bags, okay? So it's very easy to make this one, okay? It's very, uh, it's a cheap, uh, <laughs> It's a cheap structure, okay? And this one is uh, it's, uh, bags for a kit, for a home production. And in this phase, it's, uh, they stay for 25 days. And after 25 days, we just put it on the packaging and we sell it, okay? If we don't sell it, what's happened? <laughs> we, we can grow it, okay? So uh, we, can, we don't waste... Uh, uh, any products, okay? Uh, so you have some question, uh, Jeff, about fructification or? No, uh, the question was about what do you do when you have uh, some green mold or some pests okay. that you don't want? Depends. If the green mold, it's 20% uh, uh, of all the bags. Uh, we can save the last part, okay? We can cut it and we can save the part that is it's good, okay? But if the mold is more than 20%, we need just one chance to throw away uh, fast, faster the, the, the bags in a compost, okay? And uh, uh, this bag become compost first and humus uh, later, okay? So, oh, we, sure. can, okay, we, can, we can continue uh, our our visit in our farm, uh, and just so I uh, I show you now the transformation. The way we make some product, very original product, the chips of mushroom with the peanut butter. Okay, please come in. Come, come in. Please. Yeah, peanut butter is one of my favorite things. So, yeah, <laughs> I want to try that. You still good, Alessandra? You still good? I just appoggio un attimo i funghi di pasta. Okay. Uh, we can, I don't know. So we, we just to, uh, uh, we cut the mushroom uh, very thin uh, and uh, uh, nothing. We, uh, we put it in our um, uh, dry machine, okay, and we dry it for uh, uh, 20 hours, depends, uh, under very low temperatures, 34 degrees, okay? Ma maximum 40 degrees. And uh, the result is the uh, uh, mushroom, it's like, like a cheese, okay? It's very rich of protein, okay? And it's very nutrient. And uh, this one is, uh, you can eat like a chips, like this, okay? You can put on the pasta, and uh, you can use it uh, in a different way. And the taste, uh, it's very it's strange. It's, it's very tasteful, okay? Maybe I can send you, <laughs> yeah, some um, some chips if you want to taste. Uh, oh, yeah, or, or mm. I'm coming to taste them. <laughs> a lot. And for in our mushroom, we make the analysis and we make some research about uh, the mushroom, okay, and um, because when the people say a lot of question when we go in a market and we sell the product in a market, 
okay um this one is the energy value it's a it's a it's a low value okay it's a 77 kilo calorie so it's not too much it's protein it's eight gram of protein each 100 grams of fresh product okay and uh, we have 76 percent of uh, grams of water so if we dry the mushroom and we take out the water the the percentage of the, the protein of course it's more concentrated okay and um, another uh, analysis that we make it's uh, about the polyphenol okay because in a coffee grant yeah in a coffee grant coffee grant it's a rich of polyphenols uh, there is uh, in a uh, coffee uh, we have a uh, uh, kind of polyphenol. The name is uh, acid chlorogenic. Chlorogenic acid. It's a. Uh, it's a. Uh, it's a uh, seventy-two more different uh, kind of compound. So uh, it's not just one, uh, and uh, it's very important because they have a uh, antioxidant effect in our body, and uh, we make an analysis. Uh, for, for uh, uh, see if the, this polyphenol go in uh, in our uh, in our mushroom and the mushroom absorb this compound and we make an analysis uh, uh, of uh, our fruit body so the mushroom that grow in our coffee grounds and we discover that uh, in uh, our mushroom we have uh, uh, the acid the chlorogenic acid um, but we don't know the percentage because we know just uh, it's just uh, uh, an exam for the. Um, uh, it's not. Uh, we don't. Uh, uh, we don't know the the percentage of uh, the this uh, the amount. Okay, of the uh, uh, chlorogenic acid. Uh, but we know that uh, there is inside uh, this uh, this polyphenol. And another polyphenol that we have in a plebrozzo striatus is la, la, lovastatin. Uh, it's very important for our uh, for cholesterol and for the uh, the pressure in our blood. Okay, the blood pressure. Okay, uh, so uh, our mushroom. Because this is very important things because when the people say, okay, um, how much is it our mushroom? Okay, and when I I, I, I say, okay. It's, a, it's seven kilos, uh, or it's eight, euro, eight euros for uh, kilos. Eight, eight euros for kilos. Maybe, maybe some, some people say, oh, it's too much. But when I explain uh, how it's made it and uh, the characteristics of, of our, our product, the people say, okay, I want to taste. And when the people taste our mushroom, uh, they, they say, oh, it's very, very tasteful. It's very good mushroom. And... Um, uh, because sometimes uh, the problem is uh, uh, the communication uh, first, and because we, we, we try to uh, make uh, a very some good communication when we sell, because we, 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 we like to sell directly at customers, okay? Uh, this is very important, because our project is a local project. So we collect the coffee grounds in a local area, and we transform these uh, coffee grounds here in Florence and we sell the product direct, directly at the customer in this area. So this project, you can uh, you, you can make if you want, where you want, because the coffee grounds is everywhere. The people like to drink coffee. And uh, so uh, this is an uh, important thing. The, the marketing, but the, the value of the, the communication. Because if you don't communicate well the, the value of your product, the people don't understand uh, the value, okay? This is very, very important. And, but after, after, uh, uh, mushroom and call me, uh, a lot of people call me every day, oh, Antonio, it's really the mushroom. I can uh, come uh, in your farm for, for buy it. And so they, uh, uh, they are very enthusiastic, <laughs> and uh, in the beginning, it's not and it's not easy, okay? Because in Italy, uh, we have a, a lot of product, good product like porcini, piopini, or, or other mushroom, and the people maybe 
uh, are very conservative about food, okay? And the innovation, maybe sometimes the people don't understand uh, better. Uh, so when the people try our product, say, okay, this is a very good project, but the product is very good. And uh, this is very important things because if you want to uh, have a cost first, first and we want to sell all the production, we need uh, uh, to communicate the value of our product. Okay. So um, after this part, uh, uh, I can show you uh, it's very easy to, to grow the mushroom at all. And uh, this is a box for grow mushroom, okay? And uh, it's a, uh, it is uh, like this, okay? So the, the box, it's, uh, uh, it's ready. You just to cut in the, the, the plastic bag and spray water a couple of times a day. And after one week, you can have a mushroom. And you can have a couple of production in with the one box uh, in 30 days, okay? And uh, the amount, it's about uh, 500 grams of uh, fresh mushroom, okay? And uh, we have another product that uh, if, because a lot of people uh, ask me, Antonio, but I want to, uh, I want to collect my uh, home coffee grant and I want to grow the mushroom with, uh, with my uh, home coffee ground. So we, uh, we did a, a new product. Uh, this one is uh, Il Tuo Kit Fungi Espresso. So uh, it's your kit. Uh, and we give the, the box and we give uh, the, the ingredients. So we give the mycelium and we give the silver skin. Okay. And the people uh, every, uh, every day, put uh, the coffee grounds inside this box, okay? And uh, put a little bit uh, the mycelium and a little bit silver skin, okay? After, uh, after 20 days, you have a situation like this, okay? When it's, uh, <laughs> this is start mushroom start to grow, uh, but it's, <laughs> it's early now. Uh, so when it's completely full, uh, the mushroom start to grow, there is two holes, there's one hole here and another hole, hole here. So the mushrooms start to grow in, uh, uh, and the, the same thing, so you can have a couple of production in, in a two days, okay? Um, about the, the spent mushroom compost, so after the cultivation, we have uh, uh, this one. This one is the coffee grounds after cultivation. So the spent mushroom compost, it's, uh, uh, it's really rich of minerals. And uh, for us, this one, it's a waste, okay? But uh, uh, we convert this one first in a compost and second in a humus uh, of worm, uh, with our worms. And uh, we make worm, worm humus, okay? And the result of the 60 months is uh, it's, it's this. It's, uh, it's like a land, it's uh, very dark, okay? It's a dark land, okay? And it's very rich of organic matter. So we uh, close the, the cycle of the, the carbon cycle. Uh, now we can reuse this uh, uh, as a fertilizer for, for a plant, okay? And... Uh, and we have a, and we have a, a we have a, a, our uh, worms, okay? This uh, Eusenia, Eufenia sedita, sedita. Uh, this is our heart worms, okay? That uh, this transform our compost in uh, in uh, in humus, okay? After after three months of work, so they work a lot. Um, so, but if, uh, uh, if uh, you come with me, uh, we can go outside and uh, I show you uh, how it's possible to uh, have uh, um, warm hummus from our waste and uh, uh, how it's possible to grow plants and uh, to uh, have a fish uh, uh, using uh, uh, a worm as a nutrients, okay? 
Come with me. <clears throat> so. very, very cool, very cool. Antonio, I already have a question for while you're on the go, on the go to the greenhouse. Mark was asking via YouTube uh, why you cannot grow porcini mushrooms. Uh, oh. <laughs> porcini is a symbiotic mushroom. We need, uh, we need uh, the, the sim symbiosis uh, with the roots of, uh, of a plant. So if we don't have a plant, we, if we don't have a, a, a plant, we cannot uh, have a mushroom, okay? Uh, it's easy. <laughs> and uh, uh, I think uh, there is not uh, possible to grow in, um, in uh, to replicate this kind of symbiosis. Uh, it's very complicated. And um, maybe some someone someone uh, uh, try, but uh, it's uh, it's uh, it's uh, it's, uh, it's very impossible. So please, uh, you can come with me, and I show I show you now. Uh, this is the compost area. Okay, there, there is a um, with the worms. It's here, and the compost. Uh, we put the compost there. Okay. You can feel oh uh, it's very hot. It's uh the temperature is like uh, uh 50 degrees here and this is a aerobic fermentation and the bacteria now have to uh, convert the minerals of uh, that the, the mushroom uh, uh, transform in uh, in a coffee grounds convert this mineral in a organic matter. But it's uh, the first phase of the compost. Uh, this during for three months because uh, the worms cannot survive in this temperature. Okay, and another thing is the pH. Uh, they are because uh, the the um, the substrate. It's very acid, okay? When it's uh, so, w when we start, so this is a piece of <laughs> of uh, mushroom and uh, uh, coffee grounds together, and um, and it's very hot. <laughs> um, nothing. Uh, the the pH now uh, the, in the first phase is very acid. After. Uh, the compost, uh, uh, the three months of uh, composting, uh, it's uh, basic, so uh, it's uh, like a six, it's a seven, and uh, or eight, uh, the, and we can uh, uh, give the this compost uh, directly at our worms, okay? But uh, in the first phase, uh, just uh, uh, the bacteria work, okay? Not not worms. In the second phase. We put the compost in this part, okay? Okay. We put the compost in this part, and uh, it's this one. It's uh, it's uh, full of worms, and the worms uh, start to uh, we mix the our compost. With the manure of uh, of uh, horse horse manure, um, so together. So this is the. So I know someone say, okay, it's it's not beautiful, <laughs> but no, for me it's beautiful. For me, the the worms, it's like a tractor of uh, it's a natural tractor, okay. Because they and they transform mm. and uh, and. Uh, mm. Okay, you can hear me. Okay. Uh, uh, yes. yes. Yes, we you can hear you. We can hear you. Yeah, okay, perfect. Cool. Yeah, because yeah. someone, yeah, someone called me. Sorry. Um, uh, so we have a we have a worms, and the worms, it's like, it's like a tractor. Because they go uh, uh, up and down in the land, and they make a hole, so it's very good for porosity, for aeration of the land, and they transform the organic matter. 
So they heat the organic matter and they make hummus. And it's very rich of organic matter. So the so the the worms it's very important for our land. So if but uh, we if we don't have worms, uh, it's a uh, it's a problem because the organic matter don't uh, uh, so the, the 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 carbon don't don't become organic matter. Okay, and we lost a lot of. Uh, a lot of nutrients for our plants okay so the the worms grow very fast uh, the population grow uh, uh, we start with one square meter two years ago and now we have uh, about uh, uh, eight nine square meters of uh, 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 worms area okay from this from this area so from this area so it's about eight square meters. Uh, we can have uh, about uh, 100 uh, kilos of humus of worms uh, uh, each month. Okay, uh, and then, then this is it's uh, it's a very good product because the price uh, for uh, 100 kilos of uh, hummus uh, the price is uh, uh, 150 euro. So it's 1.5 euro for for kilos. And it's a very good price for a fer organic fertilizer. Okay, so we sell th this uh, product directly at the farm, organic farm that uh, use this product uh, for uh, for uh, uh, for his farm for a uh, for a land. And uh, a lot of people that grow uh, weed in in Italy, uh, legal weed in Italy, that start to use our our hummus. And uh, nothing. So the, the our worms grow very fast. The population uh, it's a very uh, uh, rich, uh, high level. And when the high level it's uh, 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 there is a high level, the population go down. Okay. So we have to feed a little bit uh, each month. We we feeding the with the new compost the the worms. In order to the population continue to grow, okay, and we we take just a few a few worms per day uh, for uh, uh, feed our our uh, fish, okay, because now we build the aquaponic plant here inside uh, an old greenhouse, and uh, uh, if you follow me, I can show you how uh, the fish uh, uh, hit uh, the worms, okay. Come, come on. <laughs> if you have is some questions, yes. Okay. Yeah, is it a lot of manual labor to change the compost? So first you put it with the bacteria and then you have to shovel it to the worms. Is it a lot of work? Uh, no, because uh, we just uh, uh, moving the, the compost uh, for uh, one time for a month, okay? And uh, we feed uh, the... So uh, for us, it's extra work. So, so th that means that, uh, uh, I mean, uh, I do this this work uh, just uh, one uh, one time for a month, okay? So no, uh, every week, no, not every week, okay? Uh, but the very, so, uh, the, uh, it's, uh, course, yeah. Uh, the the hard work uh, we we spend a few days uh, for uh, we spend a few days for uh, uh, um, uh, for uh, for cleaning the hummus and for uh, when we collect the hummus and we we need to divide uh, the hummus and the worms okay so we spend a, a couple of days for do that okay and uh, but the result it's a very very good hummus okay. <laughs> so uh, with the hummus of worms, we we make a um, vegetable garden here uh, that we grow. We grow some uh, vegetables, and uh, we did this work with uh, the students of the school. Okay, so it's just for educational project. So it's not uh, for for produce for uh, for a market. Okay, <laughs> and. Uh, and uh, in April we and in April we uh, uh, we start this project, the aquaponic plant, 
because we want to we because we close a cycle with uh, with our worms in uh, with the compost I and mean, with our worms and we did the hummus uh, and we make the worms so we, we can open a, a new cycle and we uh, with uh, with a vegetable garden and with our aquaponic plant because uh, we, we with the hummus we can uh, we use it like a fertilizer and uh, we, with the worms we can use uh, uh, as a, a protein for uh, for a fish, it's a poor 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 worm, but uh, the fish like it a lot. Okay, attention, <laughs> John. Okay, so uh, here we have uh, the red fish and the and the koi carp, carpe koi. So can I find a vision artist, Magari? Okay, uh, I put just uh, the fish like. They hit uh, the worms like a spaghetti. Uh, it's uh, it's incredible. <laughs> they hit, a, they they love it. And um, this one is the the aquaponic system. Okay, uh, this one is the the tank uh, the the aquaponic uh, part and where the fish live and stay. And there is the this water come. Comes from uh, the in the uh, in this part from the, from uh, the from the uh, the media and nothing. So the the fish now hit the worms and uh, 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 make a lot of organic substance inside the the water and uh, the water go in this tube. Okay. Uh, we go in this tube, okay. And without pump, this is very important things. Without pump, we, we don't use pump here. So we, the, the the water go in the in the agar media. We have a we have a, a dry clay, okay. It's a thirty centimeter. It's uh, the the level of dry clay. And uh, we have this system. You can see, you, know, you can see the system. There is some hole. So irrigation system. It's very easy to build. Okay, and it's very cheap. And uh, we have a lot of different uh, vegetables. So or we have a we grow tomato in the summer. We grow uh, zucchini or uh, salad, of course. Cabbage, and uh, this one it's typical in Tuscan. It's uh, black cabbage. It's uh, it's typical uh, uh, Tuscany uh, vegetables, and they make a, a very uh, very good dish with this uh, plant. It's uh, ribollita. It's a very uh, good uh, good dish. And the water, so go down in this uh, hole, okay? And uh, there is a pump that take the water and they put the water uh, in a in a in a fish tank, okay? So in this, uh, this is a circular, this is a circular cycle of the water. We can save the ninety percent of the water because uh, we uh, don't uh, don't waste our water. We can uh, don't we don't need to uh, uh, take out the, the weed because there is not weed, okay? So uh, for uh, this, uh, we don't we don't spend a lot of work for. We just uh, make a, put a plant, okay? If you want, I can show you. This is the roots of the plants, okay? You can see here the roots, okay? These are roots of uh, of a plant, and the uh, the water of the fish it's rich of uh, uh, organic substance, but uh, uh, thanks for the bacteria, there is a nit nitrobacter that uh, it's very important for this kind of plant because the nitrobacter uh, transform the bacteria, transform the uh, um, it, 
NH4, the nitrogen, uh, in uh, a form in a form of nitrogen that is possible to uh, absorb on the plant. So this is very important things, and uh, for help the colonization of the bacteria, uh, we put uh, uh, a solution of uh, with the bacteria with a starter, okay, of the bacteria in order to help the, the plant. Uh, in the mm, normally uh, they need three months. Uh, these uh, uh, these plants for have uh, uh, a good uh, uh, quantity of bacteria for transform all the uh, all the uh, the organic uh, uh, minerals the all the minerals that the fish uh, make in the water. Okay, so uh, this is a, it's, there's not Antonio. a lot. Of, then do you also add uh, extra nutrients for the plants, or uh, no, 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 absolutely not. No, no. Just for a fish, we use uh, we use these. Uh, uh, these uh, normally we put these for fish, okay, normally, and uh, but they they now they don't like because they hit the. Uh, it's a worm, so they don't like the, <laughs> this kind of thing. Uh, could, they, uh, could they? Could the fish only eat the worms, or do you need the extra food for nutrients? Or no, 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 we we yeah, we we give uh, the worms because it's very really rich of pro, so it's uh, the protein food, okay? And we put uh, this kind of uh, granulated food. For it's a for a for pond fish, okay. This one, okay. And we use it's a uh, so uh, because it's um, we cannot just give just the worms because it's uh, worms. It's a uh, it's a uh, it's a uh, uh, very rich of protein, okay. So uh, it's better it's better mix the the worms with the uh, with the natural food. We can give bread, okay, uh, old bread, if you if you want, uh, or if we want, to, we if we we don't want to use uh, this kind of uh, pond, uh, this kind of food, we can use the uh, bread, uh, and but we are, we need to mix it, okay, uh, because uh, just uh, just uh, uh, worms, uh, I I think it's. Uh, it's very rich of proteins, too much for for, for fish. Okay, and uh, they produce a lot of uh, ammoniaca, uh, ammonium. I, I don't know in English. I don't know in English ammoniaca. It's uh, N NH four <laughs> in the chemical. Uh, uh, so um, nothing. So in this part, uh, we produce a uh, uh, very uh, good food. Uh, and uh, now it's a very it's just uh, um, the, the first part of the plant because we want the, the, this greenhouse it's 20 meters long so we want to grow uh, we want to build another part of uh, this uh, this uh, aquaponic plant uh, in this part uh, we use the gray um, the, the clay dry clay but we want to make a, the the second part we want to uh, build a uh, uh, system the the name is um, <clears throat> uh, it's um, uh, for grow we, without gray plant just a water uh, and uh, for grow salad and basil and the other product okay uh, so this is it in the first phase of of, uh, of, uh, of this aquaponic plant. So uh, we can go outside. Sorry, Joe. Uh, so uh, in the, with the, uh, this uh, uh, circulation system, uh, so we start from coffee grounds and uh, we produce the fresh mushroom uh, and uh, we produce the hummus. Uh, of, uh, from uh, our worms, we produce worms, and uh, we can feed the fish. So we can have also the fish. And now the fish, okay, we we don't eat fish, but we, it's just for uh, um, it's not uh, it's not for eating, okay. 
we cannot grow tilapia, okay? Uh, because tilapia in Italy and in Europe, uh, uh, it's um, um, uh, it's um, uh, very um, it's very dangerous for our ecosystem, okay? The tilapia, uh, because they have competitors, okay? So uh, we cannot grow tilapia, uh, and uh, we uh, so we grow the K, the the carpe koi. Uh, it's very, it's a very, uh, very uh, have a, a good price. Thirty centimeter of fish, it's uh, 80, 80 euro, so it's a good, it's a good price. And we can grow uh, vegetables uh, from, from, uh, from our in our system. So uh, this is a, it's a circular way to understand agriculture, and uh, uh, we try, I try to uh, reduce the. The, the chemical compound, and I try to uh, produce the healthy food uh, in a sustainable way. Okay, so um, if you have some question, we can I can, I can go inside of uh, in a in a mushroom area, and we can uh, I can answer uh, uh, some question. Okay. <laughs> okay. Awesome. Thanks, Antonio, for the for the great tour. Uh, I think we we have a lot of questions also on the, the YouTube chat, um, but I'm gonna I'm gonna drop the first one, and it's also a bit uh, I think what Alex asked with the bottlenecks. But uh, I'm very interested about starting a business, you know, uh, and I was wondering where do you get the most income from? I guess it's from the mushrooms, and is it enough to sustain yourself and uh, everybody working for Fumi Espresso? Uh, and how many people can you pay from it, for example? Yes, I yes, uh, just uh, wait because I, uh, I need to charge my telephone. Just a second. <clears throat> okay. okay. Bye. I'm to check out. Uh, and if people people watching just drop some more questions we still have 20 minutes or something see Antonio is putting himself down <laughs> and then we can uh, ask some questions and Alessandra yes we are also receiving requests for Antonio's kit it's live it's live <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, so sorry. Yeah, uh, you can. Uh, oh no, so, uh, you can repeat your question, please. Okay. the The first question would be about the the business side. Uh, what is your biggest income stream? And I think it's the mushrooms, selling the mushrooms. And uh, is it enough to sustain multiple people in a living, or do you still need to work somewhere else, or how, how does it work? How many people can you sustain? And so on. So, uh, so the, the answer now is uh, the mushroom depends on how many quantity. So it depends on the quantity, OK? Because the uh, for reach the, you know, the, the break even point, OK, it's an economical point of view, it's uh, the, the quantity of the mushroom that the, you need to produce it's about 200 kilos uh, each month, okay? Uh, so uh, now we restart, because it's my story, it's the, the, it, there is a different part. Now we restart this project uh, two years ago in this school, so we prepared everything, the, the, you know, all the, the process here, and uh, I think uh, we, 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 we reached these uh, goals of the, the break even in, uh, in December, okay, for uh, with the 200 kilos of production. And uh, uh, for, yes, if you reach the, this, uh, this amount, it's enough for, uh, for pay the, all the employee and for, uh, for, uh, you know, for, um, for, it's, uh, it's enough for it for a good income okay but uh, we do also uh, um, educational project and we do also a training course okay so 
uh, I start to make a training course uh, two years ago, and uh, uh, a lot of people from a lot of part of the world, of, of the, in Italy, sorry, uh, a lot of part in Italy, and some people from uh, uh, from Europe um, come here for improve the, this this kind of. Uh, uh, this kind of uh, system, okay? Um, and the educational part also it's very important things. Uh, we are inside a school, inside a school in Florence, so we make uh, uh, training, we make uh, uh, educational projects for uh, for children, for guys, for students, for the people that want to know about the mushroom cultivation. And uh, so this uh, is very, so, uh, important important things for uh, uh, our farm. So uh, because we are an urban farm, so we are very near uh, of the city. Uh, we we have a uh, example the course for American students because in in Florence we have a uh, uh, 40, uh, 40 uh, university different university of American students. So. I make the, the experience. <clears throat> uh, so, but uh, the, the core of the business, of course, is produce mushroom. Okay. And uh, we sell the kit uh, in our e commerce in some, uh, in some uh, part of, uh, of the year. So, like a Christmas period uh, and uh, um, winter period. Okay. And uh, of course, uh, but because in summer we don't produce kit because it's too hot in Italy for produce mushroom or so. Uh, and uh, but uh, the very important things now is to, it's concentration by transformation. So because in the first in the first part of my experience, I spend a lot of time for understand uh, how. It, uh, the, the standard for make this process standard, okay? <clears throat> and now the process is a standard. So I can say from uh, uh, 10 kilos of coffee grounds, we can produce uh, 1.5 kilos of fresh mush, okay? And... Uh, standard. And uh, uh, another point, it's... Uh, uh, products, the products, okay. So uh, for the with the mushroom production, we have a problem. Uh, it's the conservation of uh, our products. So uh, the mushroom, when we harvest mushroom, we need to sell uh, in seven days, okay. If we not sell in seven days, uh, we need to, to throw away the production. And this is it's a, it's not possible. Okay, so now we start to dry the mushroom, we start to transform our mushroom in a good recipe with our chef Marco Vitale. And uh, I think it's a good way for have a, a good income. And because if you sell the raw material, the raw uh, mushroom, so the, the mushroom, spread, the fresh mushroom, okay, if you sell directly the fresh mushroom, the people don't, don't want to spend. A lot of money, okay. And uh, but if you transform the mushroom in a good product, okay, uh, like as an example, uh, trippa di fungi. It's a it's a soup. It's a tomato tomato sauce uh, with the, our mushroom. It's like a trippa uh, or chips of uh, mushroom with a, with a peanut butter. So this is a good way. For uh, make a make a, a, a good income, okay, and and pay all the costs. So uh, now we decide to transform all uh, of our production, and we stop to if we stop we reduce to sell the fresh mushroom. We sell just a very small part of fresh mushroom, okay? and this is very important decision for us uh, because it's a change. Uh, um, Change, change everything, <laughs> and it's uh, it's good because you can make a stock of the, your product and you can sell 
uh, step by step. You have some question? <clears throat> Thank you, Antonio. I have a question coming from Radu. And uh, how is the price of your mushrooms and your products in general comparing uh, with the, the, the price of on the market of similar products? Yeah, no, Pleurotus Australianus, so the oyster mushroom, the grey one. Uh, in Italy, uh, in, the, in, the, in, a, in a GDO, uh, in a GDO you can find uh, at uh, 3.8 euro uh, for uh, one kilo, okay? Uh, and we sell directly at customer at 7, uh, a, uh, seven euro for one kilo, okay? And uh, depends if uh, we go directly in the market. Uh, we sell uh, uh, also the mushroom at maximum 10 euro for one kilo, maximum, maximum. Okay. Of course, if we dry, okay, uh, it's uh, it's different. Okay, there is a different price. There is a more job, the more works for 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 transformation, but. Uh, um, the it's the, the there is a different uh, you know, uh, ma margin for uh, our income okay so uh, but uh, uh, we make a decision from the beginning don't sell our mushroom from the GDO uh, we put uh, and we don't give uh, uh, information, uh, the right information to people, and say, okay, this is Pleurotus triatus, it's the same mushroom. One, the price is 3.8 euro for one kilo, and the other one is 7 euro for one kilo. And you don't give information to customers. So the, the, la, signora, uh, la signora Maria uh, uh, take the, 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 the mushroom that uh, the cost is lower. Of course. So we need to spend some um, more communication. So we need to have a, a directory um, relation, our relation with the customers. This is very important because it's not just a mushroom. It's your mushroom. It's an Antonio mushroom. And that, that is very important because the, the people want to believe of, uh, the, of, of course, it's healthy mushroom and uh, but uh, and you have to explain but the people want to see okay you can see to come in a, uh, our farm and you can harvest and you can you can have your mushroom so this is a it's a very important point i think for make a sustainable uh, farm urban farm <clears throat> you have some question I, I can ask another question if you uh, if I want. Next one is for Alexander. Um, I also wonder how much did you have to invest in the beginning to build your farm? It's like the 10th step, you know, the financing of your farm. Uh, can you repeat, please? Uh, how much did you have to invest in the beginning uh, of your farm okay. and where did you get the money? Did you... Did you I get it yourself or from the bank? No. Uh, in the beginning, I uh, was curious because uh, I, I was just an idea. Okay. I, I was just an idea and a business plan. And, uh, but not, not money. Okay. Uh, <laughs> and I tried in Italy to find some, uh, some uh, investors. But nobody, nobody want to. In Italy, it's very difficult mo mo moment now. So the, the bank don't give money on startup, and uh, uh, there is not investors. Not there is investors, but don't want to invest in uh, innovative agriculture. Depend. It's a, so my experience it's negative uh, with the uh, Italian investors. Um, Fortunately, I, I, found, I met a Japanese investor in Capanno, in Luca, uh, and uh, I show the project at uh, this investor, the name is Tomohiro Sato. 
And Tomiro believe in uh, me and in my idea, and he uh, give uh, uh, me and Vincenzo, there was the uh, there was the uh, partner in the beginning of my experience with Fung Espresso, and I give it the 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 seed. So the first seed is a uh, thirty thousand euro, and. Uh, so um, we will, but uh, it's, I think it's not enough to 30,000 euros if uh, uh, for start uh, because from starts from zero zero. So if you have to make a brand, if you have uh, if you need to make a, a new uh, a pro product, uh, so if you start from zero from nothing, 30,000 uh, it's not enough. <clears throat> Because uh, with because we, when I started, uh, it was a very new product in Italy. It was so uh, uh, for me, it was very difficult in the beginning. Show the the, the people in Lucca in Capannori, it's uh, near Florence, uh, for for understand uh, the importance of our product. Uh, but uh, uh, when there was the uh, expo in Milan, <clears throat> we participated at a we make a, a competition, okay, with a startup, innovative startup, and uh, the minister of agriculture uh, the, uh, he uh, give a, a fungi espresso a prize. Um, and uh, he gave us uh, 30,000 euros for participate in the expo. So this was very important for us and because we invest uh, all uh, the money of, of the price in communication and marketing and uh, for make a website, for make a, the packaging of our, our product, for make the communication, everything. So um, uh, you can have a good idea, but uh, if you don't find a good investor, that's a problem. <laughs> you can have uh, some questions. Yep. I have a question regarding collaboration, Antonio. Yeah. Who are uh, your key partners? The key partners? Uh, both locally and nationally, nationally and internationally speaking. International also. Uh, yeah. In general. Okay. No, the the key partners for me is a bar. It's the barman. Okay. <laughs> no, sorry. No, no, because it's a barman. Okay. Because without the coffee grounds, I cannot make mushrooms. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, uh, a part of two, um, it's uh, uh, the key part is the zero waste movement in Italy that uh, I start. Thanks for uh, uh, Rossana Ercolini um, and uh, uh, with uh, another um, partners for for me now it's the school, it's the institution of the school because now we are inside a school. Uh, so for me, it's a key partner, and uh, also maybe municipality could be, but uh, we have uh, some problem with the <laughs> Florence municipality. So because they don't give uh, us a uh, visibility, okay? Uh, and uh, we, we maybe our key partners, international point of view, if there is a. Uh, there is a lot of farmers, there is a lot of people that make the same things, okay? Then there is a lot of urban farmers. So maybe we can uh, have a collaboration with these farmers and we can share the knowledge. This is a very important point. Uh, I think it's uh, another key partners could be uh, the the Gunter Pauli movement for share this information, uh, the Zeri Association. Um, it's a, I think uh, uh, we need uh, to build a, a new way to uh, to make agri uh, agriculture and uh, a new way to 
to make a, a healthy product in a sustainable way. And uh, with the so key partners is the community. Is the, uh, another key partner, very important key partner, is the community that you have in your in your in uh, in the place where you make the project. Mm -hmm. Because if the community accepts your project and uh, the community sustain your project, you can uh, you can make uh, a good result. I think. And Antonio, how do you engage the community? The community, uh, I have a so I was a, a grassroots. Okay, uh, uh, so. I, I know a lot of people in Florence. Uh, I was an activist, environmental activist. Okay, and uh, <clears throat> the community. Um, it, it's uh, it, here in Tuscany. We have a um, we have a uh, uh, lot of uh, association. <clears throat> okay, so the community uh, there is a um, local association. Or uh, there is a. Um, Gas, gas is a group of people that buy directly from the farmers. <clears throat> uh, so, the, for for make a good relationship with the, this community, uh, it's uh, we need to uh, participate participate at uh, uh, a vision of uh, the the future of our of our community uh, of uh, our landscape. Uh, so. Um, this means that uh, the zero waste movement, so zero incinerator, uh, with community of zero incinerator, we, we organize some events, and they come here they organize some events. Or, or example, um, uh, there is an organic, uh, there is a farmer market in uh, in uh, in, um, in Center City in Florence, and they organize every uh, uh, week one market, and we go there, people. And this is the small community of farmers that stay there every every Sunday. Um, so uh, I, we organize an uh, example. Next week, there will be uh, uh, the biker that, that go uh, make a, a, a trip around Florence and they come here for see our uh, farm. So we make a workshop for the people. We try to participate with the school. So. It's a. Uh, this is the community. The community is a different part of uh, of uh, of the uh, of the uh, uh, city. So uh, there is not just a, <clears throat> there is not just a customers. So for me, the the, the word customers it's not. Uh, I don't. I don't like to use. Okay. Mm. I, like I like. To, I like that. I like that. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, it's a very important to, you know, like the line between producer and consumer should be less because food is too important to just, uh, you know, sell in a way. Anyway, uh, I want to do one last question. We've been doing one hour and a half, which is nice and long. It was a, it's a good tour and a good conversation. Uh, but I wanted to ask the last question from Alex. Uh, he's also a, a big fan of Amy Systems, and he wanted to ask you, uh, Antonio, what is the the bottleneck of your system? Uh, like, um, yeah, the bottleneck meaning, I think, in an ecological way, where, uh, like, from the resources, I think, where is the bottleneck the coffee grounds for the input, or is it more like the the speed with which the worms can Convert the compost. And look a bit the bottom. Alessandra, you can help me for understand better the question. Yes. Uh, which are the problem um, on an ecological mm -hmm. point of view? Um, <laughs> connected to the system, right, Jeff? Yeah, I know it's a difficult question. It's hard yeah. to. Uh, <laughs> it's an Alex question, of course. It's difficult. Uh, um, no, no. Se mi traduci in italiano bottleneck, io capisco. Quali sono i 
gli aspetti eh, più critici del tuo sistema, soprattutto da un punto di vista ecologico? Eh, quali sono le cose che si potrebbero migliorare? Mi viene in mente ad esempio okay, la plastica, piuttosto che l'input che viene dai fondi di caffè? Thanks, thank you Alessandra. Uh, sorry, uh, <laughs> but uh, um, it's a hard question this. No, uh, because this is, uh, because we have uh, something, we use plastic, okay? And uh, we use a, we use a plastic and uh, we have a, a, um, a problem. So because we produce a plastic, okay, we can uh, recycle plastic, okay, of course. But uh, uh, we will try to uh, don't use plastic anymore. So uh, we want to uh, mm, now. I uh, try to change uh, with a new product. There is a there is a um, paper uh, paper bags, okay, and they use paper bags. But uh, it's difficult with the mushroom because the mushroom like to hit the the carbon the carbon. Uh, 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 matter so um, we, we will uh, find a way for for uh, for don't use plastic but uh, this, the, that's it's one of, of the problem okay another problem is the mycelium okay uh, mycelium because we need uh, to uh, produce um, so we don't produce mycelium so we buy mycelium okay and um, uh, this mycelium is produced with a uh, Uh, it's in Italy, it's produced in Italy, so, but uh, we spend a lot of uh, so, uh, energy for, uh, because we put the mycelium in, the, in a cereal and we use cereal uh, for, for grow mushroom, okay? This is one of the points that's uh, negative. And maybe in the future, when we have a, a good structure, a, a lab, a good lab, we can produce uh, our uh, the mycelium. And that's it's a very important point, I think. And uh, mm, nothing but about the uh, ecological point of view, uh, the energy. Okay, we use a lot of energy, of course, and uh, maybe uh, we can produce the, the, the energy in a sustainable way with a solar panel or with, a, with different... Uh, Uh, a renewable uh, different way of produce uh, uh, renewable uh, energy and uh, mm, we we try to save some uh, energy so we in the winter we don't have a lot of problem okay uh, for um, make a warm uh, but uh, in the summer um, for Uh, we have a lot of problem uh, uh, for um, in our uh, in our environment because it's uh, outside it is a very high temperature and uh, this kind of mushroom don't like to uh, to grow at high temperature like at 30 degrees or 25 28 degrees okay maximum temperature that we can uh, uh, have it's 20 22 degrees okay Um, so that's it's a uh, it's a problem. It's a, a big problem. Maybe uh, we try um, now. I try to understand in some places there is a uh, some different species of mushroom that like to, to eat in the in the summer. Okay, it could be a could be a solution in the summer period. Okay. Uh, If you have some uh, critical uh, <laughs> critical uh, point that you can uh, you can uh, you can tell me, okay? <clears throat> All right. It's, it's not about critical points. I like the fact that uh, that you can answer what can be improved because there's still a lot of improvement needed in this world, eh? and it's uh, we can take step by step. We can keep on improving. Um, but I want to, Antonio. I want to thank you a lot for sharing your story and sharing uh, the tour and uh, to show your farm to the world. It's pretty awesome. I, I take away three things from the, from the whole thing. It's like the first one is that community is very important to sell your product, to sell your branding, to uh, 
because your product is different and it's more ecological, uh, but it's also more work. So it's good to have a community to support you. And the second one is that you, in order to sustain it as a business, you need diversity and also different kind of products uh, where you have like the chips and the peanut butter, for example. I like that, that you need to diverse and focus. And then of course, the continuous improvement uh, because that's what uh, the 12 steps and Amy's Farm Lab is all about because if we want to be truly sustainable and ecological as a society, you know, we still have an enormous kind of work to do to turn all the waste into more food and to have a cycle that is as efficient as, for example, a natural forest. There's still a lot of work to do. Uh, but then again, thank you very much to uh, to join this community and to share your information. It's uh, pretty awesome. Uh, it's a pleasure. It's a pleasure for me, uh, and because uh, when you uh, is a member of a community, you have a uh, you have more power. <laughs> okay, I yeah. feel like power. Um, I, uh, like. A, I have uh, my my. How uh, much I have more powers. <laughs> yeah, I, I understand what you mean. Eh? It's very. You, we have more impact if we join together. That's very, that's very <laughs> true. And there's also no, uh, a lot of the other guys from Amy's Farm Lab are watching. They have been asking a lot of questions. Uh, so definitely also a shout out to the Amy's Farm Lab team. Go guys. And there, you can also see them here. They're, each of one of them is a gorilla with their mind. Uh, <laughs> that's one of our mottos. Um, so yeah, I want to ask, uh, I want to really also thank everybody in the Amy's Farm Lab. Also, Alessandra, also thank you for being so awesome. Thank and you. Really, thank uh, you. Thank you, Alessandra. Thank you, yes. Yes. Ladies and guys, for staying with us through this long, quite long live stream. Yeah. So thank you for sharing with us your time. Yeah, it was awesome. Mm -hmm. And the next one is on the 11th of December. We're going to uh, to Romania live uh, for Plan Geeks. We of course are going to tell okay. you everything about that in the next month. Uh, Antonia, you will be joining the hangout too, right? To ask some questions. Okay. Uh, to Radu and Radish and Voiku. They're pretty awesome guys. Uh, okay. So yeah, thank you yeah. all. Oh, thank you, thank you very much for for participating at this uh, at this streaming. And so I hope uh, I, we can make a, a meeting get together. And uh, thank you, Alessandra. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. All right. See you guys next time. Bye-bye. Um, well, guys. You